Hi and welcome to another gaming video and in today's video I want to just make a statement you can't own just one games console it's not greedy to own more than one games console and anyone who says that it is just don't understand they, they just don't get the whole gaming platform idea whether it's two home consoles whether it's two portable consoles or maybe it's one of each it opens up your game library and the way you can play your games. Most platforms have console exclusives. Xbox has got Halo, PlayStation has got God of War, and Nintendo has got Mario. So if you've got an Xbox, you can't play Mario games. If you've got a Switch, you can't play Forza. If you own a PS5, then you can't play games when you're out and about. So owning multiple games consoles isn't greedy. In some ways, it's a great idea. It, it, it gives you variety. Uh, it gives you games that you can't get on other platforms or the platform that you would normally play. It also means that, I don't, I don't know, perhaps you've kept your PS3 when you bought your PS4. That means you can still play your PS3 games because if the newer console isn't backward compatible, you don't want to lose, uh, lose your game library. That means you can still play your PS3 games and play PS4 games. That's a little bit different on things like 3DS range because it could play the older games uh, from the DS uh, and the same with the Xbox. They really do try and do backward compatibility. Or perhaps you don't ever sell your old consoles, unlike people like me who need to sell their older console to put it towards a new one. Uh, if you don't need to do that, you could just box it up, put it out of the way, keep it and play your new one. Or perhaps, like me, perhaps it's about collecting. I, I like older consoles, so I go around and I collect up older consoles. I've got a Wii, PlayStation 2, lots of DS's, uh, I had a PSP, I'm now into the PS Vita, and for me, it, it is about playing different consoles and playing different titles and just having a whole different gaming experience. I love my PlayStation Vita, I love my DSi XL, both offer different experiences and both play differently. So owning just one console isn't always a great idea for lots of reasons and uh, it's not greedy, it doesn't make you a nerd if you say I've got five consoles at home, perhaps one of those is one that you take in your pocket when you want to go on a train, the other one is your main console. Perhaps you've got a, an older one that you've got some sort of childhood games you like to play on. It's not greedy, it's not nerdy, it's not daft. Uh, I think uh, the most consoles I've owned in one spot is about 22 consoles. So let me know, are you a collector? Do you own more than one console? How many consoles do you own? And uh, do you play them regularly or are there some that you play more than others? Let me know. Link, like subscribe, enjoy.